So, another exhibit down for the Safari Zoo, and this time it was for the African elephants. And I decided to make a pretty big herd of them, you know, because they are herd animals, but I do enjoy how the exhibit turned out. I only made a slight kind of gradient with the elevation, you know, because elephants probably wouldn't be climbing hills all that well. Have it open in the back here, you know, lots of room for them to move around, but then also Lots of shade for the trees and the little grove. I mentioned before, sausage trees are like a very iconic African tree to me, and I really pair them in my mind with elephants because you see in a lot of documentaries like elephants reaching up and eating the sausages from the sausage trees. Uh, so that's why I wanted to include a grove of them in that exhibit. And of course, they like swimming, so gave them a nice open pool right at the front of the exhibit, which kind of gives you a view back into the habitat. <laughs> it's only up to their knees, though, at the deepest, unfortunately. They didn't scale that quite properly. Well, that one is pretty good fun. It's up to the chest. Enough of them to wallow in. And then over here, you have another kind of clear view back into the exhibit. You can see again how the gradient is, where there's just that slight little hill. And then over here, we have kind of a mud spa, you know, the wallowing pits for the elephants. A little more tropical looking trees with the palm trees. And then this edge of the exhibit before the staff path. Uh, just another nice open view of them. You can look into the kind of more forested part of the exhibit and then see the more open part. Another just bland concrete building, I'll probably go back and Alpin's doing some weird stuff. I'll probably go back and fix up and decorate, but I was running out of time as I usually say. Uh, of course I had to include some baobab trees because uh, Zootekun 1 was their preferred foliage. So, you may have noticed, like, since the uh, North American Zoo, I've really just make the exhibits and then show that, but I have been going back and uh, decorating the zoos, you know, and all the big open areas between, so I'll probably do that and then do, like, maybe a full zoo tour walkthrough rather than just the... Uh, showcase videos, like I'll still do the showcase kind of highlight videos that I do, but then also a full walkthrough tour. I think this is actually the first time I've made like a proper African elephant exhibit that like wasn't one of the quick ones for the franchise mode. So I think it turned out nice. I will say though, Asian elephants are my favorite species of elephants, that's my bias. My local zoo way back used to have uh, African elephants, but someone didn't like the habitat they had for them there, and they were shipped off to San Diego. So. Haven't seen one in probably close to 10 years. Hopefully next summer, because I'll be going to San Diego, hopefully. <laughs> uh, but yeah, for where it is in the zoo, it's kind of near the hyenas and penguins and then kind of across or beside the flamingos and behind the rhinos uh but yeah that's gonna be it for this episode for the next one i'm gonna be building kind of the station to the safari drive through part of the zoo and then after that i'll be working on the actual safari part of the zoo not sure how I'm going to do it, because I plan to have a lot of animals in there, like large herds of the animals in there, so uh, yeah, I'd have to make two versions of the zoo so it can handle it, one with none of the animals in these exhibits and all of them in those ones, uh, or that one, but we'll see, we'll see what my computer can handle, but yeah, that's going to wrap it up for now, so. If you enjoyed feel free to like comment and subscribe 
uh, helps the channel grow, you know. Still going to be doing more content with friends like the Left 4 Dead and the, the Layout series. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.